Welcome or welcome back. My name's Katie and before we get into today's video, I just want to go ahead and thank my first four subscribers for commenting on my last video. A big shout out goes to Barry Q Nails, Tina from She Modern herself, Tracy's Nail World 5709, and Cherie at Just Nailed It. Thank you so, so very much to each and every single one of you for always watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel. And I'm so happy that you guys enjoy my content, and I hope that you guys enjoy today's video too. Go ahead and check out all four of these accounts. All have fantastic content waiting for you to check out. Hey guys, thank you so, so much for being here today. Um, again, my name's Katie, this is the Katie Cat Nails channel, and I am working on my 13 days of Halloween hosted by The Nail Life. Uh, the Nail Life is a group where a bunch of nail enthusiasts get together. We talk about nails, product reviews, we um, do workshops together, um, you know, teach each other tips and tricks. It's all about getting better and working with other like-minded women. Um, I know this is probably going to be a really fast process today. I'm going to be as quick as I can. So basically, I've done a very thin coat of the black noir um, from a cart as the base. I then added a layer of Beatles foil glue gel um, and I cured that for 60 seconds and I allowed the nail to completely cure in the lamp before I even took it out of the lamp. Um, and now I'm applying this beautiful oil slick foil that I got from Annette at Just Nail Stuff. I believe it's an e-nail couture foil, but um, I could be mistaken. Um, so after that was done, I used some of this really cool iridescent fabric that was sent to me from Susie's Nail Cues, and I'm going to use a little bit of the McCart Rhinestone Glue Gel as well, um, and we're going to go ahead and I'm kind of going to be like pasting it on there. Like if anyone has ever made like paper mache as kids with glue and like wet um, newspaper and stuff like that, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So basically I'm just using the glue gel, but because it's a gel and not a liquid, it's not technically gonna like saturate the little strips. Um, so what I'm basically doing is just patting it and patting it and patting it until all of the little plastic fibers are pretty much covered in the glue. And then I did cure that for 60 seconds. Now I'm going in with the glitter green and the glitter purple shade from Madame Glam's October collection. I did receive these two as PR. Um, and I will leave all of the product information down below in the description box for anything that I do have. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoy this little series that I'm going to be doing because today I'm going to be doing day one and two. Um, day one was witches. Um, and day two is skeletons. So you're gonna see me do the witch nails first, the witch nail first, because um, it's one, we're doing one nail, a minimum of one nail um, a day, and each day is kinda gonna have that different theme. Um, and then we're holding a little contest as well, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, I'm so excited for it. Um, here I have this beautiful glitter sent to me from Jessica's Nail Studio, who is the owner of The Nail Life. Um, so definitely go check out her channel as well. And if you're interested in checking out The Nail Life, I do have the link down below in the description box. Or you can just search hashtag The Nail Life 24 on Facebook. Um, I really love being an admin for this group. I get to help come up with all these fantastic um, you know, collabs, mood boards, activities, nail car games. Well, not nail car games. That's just his department. But I get to be a part of it all, um, you know, and learn and grow with some really amazing ladies. Um, so definitely something to check out if, you know, one-on-one -on -one interaction is not, not like one-on-one, -on -one, but like peer-to-peer -peer interaction is really your thing. We have a group chat where... Um, most of the active ladies, they just kind of get together, discuss things. Um, it's really cool. It's actually a really nice environment. I do really enjoy um, 
being there, you know, and being admin and being a part of it. Um, so yeah, so that's my base for my design. And I love, love, love how all of the different glittery iridescent elements like layered on top of each other and just turned into this amazing background. Absolutely love the way this background came out. I mean, if these don't say witchy, I, I don't know what kind of color scheme you're going for. Okay. Um, so now I'm just encapsulating with this Morovan clear, um, builder gel. No, I'm not a builder gel expert. And this, um, gel was actually very very watery so i did the best that i could um again you know i don't have that much experience with build a gel but i just i used the little bit that i do know to get the job done so we are going to um, buff the nails out just to get a smooth base for us to finish our um nail art on but first you really got to remove that tacky layer because builder gels tend to have a really sticky tacky layer um, so you definitely want to remove that before you file and buff just so that you're not um, clogging up your file or your drill bit, especially if you're doing like an extension on your natural nail. Um, you don't want to get your drill bit clogged up with that sticky gooey inhibition layer, okay? All right, so now I'm going in with some opaque white sticky stamping polish from um, She Modern. And um, the, uh, da, 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 da. the stamper is from She Modern as well. And um, I am going in and I'm adding my cauldron and I'm adding my witch. Um, and I think that it was just a really simple, cute um, combination of images. Uh, and I really like the way that it came out. I really, really, really love these nails. So I'm just stamping that on there. And then I did go in with a green. Um, it's not quite, tr it's translucent, but it has like a grayish black background with some beautiful green cat eye shimmers in it. Um, originally, I was going to just do it around the edge, but then I'm like, you know what? Let's just go for it. So I ended up covering the whole nail in the cat eye, and I absolutely love the effect. I'm telling you, the um, the the video does no justice, okay? The nail is beautiful. The combination of all of the different shivers and glitters and just like the cat eye and the glitter and the fabric and the um, the foil, everything together just comes together so beautifully and I absolutely love the way this nail came out. It was giving like Rick and Morty type vibes too, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of gave me some ideas because I'm into a lot of nerdy stuff, okay? I love, I love adult cartoons. I love anime, um, all that type of stuff. And I really, I really want to start reflecting, you know, my interests and my likes in my nail art. So yeah, definitely got some ideas for that. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful nail. Here she is in the flash in all her glory. I was going for, now my idea with the cat eye was to was to harness the old school, you know, Wizard of Oz type witch, um, you know, witch, the green smoke, you know, the haze, the, the, the bubbling, like, you know, the glitter for like the bubbling cauldron. Like I was really trying to harness like that old school, da -da 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 -da, witch vibe, you feel me? Like, and I really like the way they came out. I think they came out so good. Well, it, I'm used to saying they, because I usually do more than one nail, but obviously you see, I, I think that it looks beautiful. I absolutely loved it in certain parts that you can see like each, you can still see each and every single element, but it's not like, it's just everywhere. It just layered so, 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 so beautifully. All right, guys, now we are on to day two. And today's um, theme for day two of the 13 days of Halloween was skeletons. So I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, it, it's definitely a little bit different, um, but you know, I, I really like the way that the image came out. Um, so what I've done is I've added a very thin layer of Blanc from Macart, and I cured that for 60 seconds. 
And then I put this beautiful glow in the dark orange from Born Pretty. I put that um, like in the center of the nail. I didn't want to like cover the whole nail because I still wanted some white, but um, yeah, you're, you're gonna see. And then I went over it with a layer of the Jelly White from Born Pretty, which I'm running out of, so I definitely need to get more of that. Um, okay, so I, yeah, I did the, the Milky White, right? Okay, so then I chopped up these really pretty little orange flowers, and then I found some leaves that were in my backyard, and I am so sorry that the camera is focusing on my painting hand instead of the nail. I didn't realize it until I was editing, so I do apologize for that, but thankfully it's only for a little bit that it does it, um, and then it gets back to like being really clear. Um, but yeah, so I used a little bit of base coat, um, I believe just to, you know, get the, the leaf, the leaf pieces and the flower petals and all that good stuff onto the nail. Um, so yeah, this is just me picking out different pieces, um, and, you know, kind of putting them all over the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you watch this process because this is one of the things that I really love about nail videos is watching like the placement um, process it really gives me a lot of food for thought um, you know so those are the type of things that I one of the type of things that I look for when I'm watching other people's videos is their process like you know how did they make the pieces fit in the puzzle you know what I'm saying because not every puzzle has like even edges you know what I mean um, sometimes it's a puzzle of just kind of like getting everything to fall into place um, so that's one of the things I watch for when I watch videos but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish watching it then. All right, so after that, I am adding another layer of the milky white. I'm gonna cure that for another 60 seconds, and then I'm gonna go ahead in with the glitter. Um, it's pretty much gonna be the same exact process. The big pot of glitter I got from Jessica's nail studio, and the smaller pot I believe I got from like Shein forever ago. Um, so I don't have links for those, but yeah. I'm also gonna let you just go ahead and watch this part since again, it's pretty much the same thing just with glitter. All right, so <clears throat> I did another layer of the milk of the jelly white from Born Pretty, and now I'm capping everything in um, with the um, plant-based builder in a bottle, or builder gel in a. I think it's like builder in a bottle is what everyone calls it. Um, but yeah, it's the one from Savvy Land. I did do a review on this kit. You can find it um, in my videos. It wasn't that long ago either. 
Um, but yeah, so I didn't, I don't think that I had actually used it before. I really like the consistency of it. It was cool. It was easy to get my slip layer down. Um, which was like the part where you saw me kind of like brushing it onto the nail. Now I'm going in and this is like a very nice thick gel. Um, so it worked very, very well. Um, just kind of like working it down the nail. Um, of course you want to remove any sticky residue, just like I said in the last one. Um, and then you do want to go ahead and buff over it. Well, I went ahead and buffed over it just so I would have a nice smooth surface to do the rest of my nail art. Going in with some, um, she modern sticky, um, opaque white stamping polish. At first I left this part in, um, there were a couple blunders before I am far from perfect with my nail art guys. Okay. Um, but at first I tried it with the um the stamping polish but i just i feel like the background was just a little bit too milky and bright and um it was kind of like drowning out the sticky stamping so i went in with some uh, this another blender but i left it in so you guys can see um it happens you know what i mean just wipe it off and start over as long as you didn't cure it and even then it could probably be buffed off okay it's all right it's fine it's okay so anyway, so I stamped it on with the um, non-stick semi-chrome gel, right? And then I realized that I wanted to do other chrome elements, which you'll we'll get back to this plate in a minute. Um, but I realized I wanted to do other chrome elements, so I, be I went back in with a matte top coat. And I think this matte was just like from one of my um, Rosalind kits that I got a while ago. I've just been trying to... Use up all the bits and bobs, the random little bottles of polish, top coat, base coat. I want to use it up. Get it out. You know what I mean? Get Start using more of the products that I, um, I don't want to waste anything. That's my thing. I don't want to waste it. You know? Um, so anyway, so now we've have, we got our matte base, okay? And I always wipe my matte down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and acetone. Um, just because some do still have an inhibition layer, even if you don't feel it. Um, and then the chrome will stick to that. So, um, and we went back in with the non-stick, um, semi-gel, the white non-stick semi-gel for the chrome. And I went ahead and I stamped my little skeleton guy. And, um, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some, um, of these moths. There were two moths on this plate and I felt like they were really, they were giving like the fall vibe more than like the spooky Halloween vibe. Um, so that was really cool. I was able to add those to just give it a little bit more of that fall touch, you know, that earthy, mothy touch. Um, and then I did also add a couple leaves. Now I did stamp these all at the same time, not like at the same time where like they're all in the same stamper obviously because you can tell that I didn't do that. Um, but I stamped them all at the same time, meaning that I stamped all of my images and then I cured my nail for 60 seconds um, because I wanted them all to be cured the same amount. You know, I wanted them all to hold the chrome the same way. Um, so, and I made another kind of a bigger blunder um, coming up here, so. You will see that shortly. Um, the acrome applied very nicely. The acrome, the chrome applied <laughs> very nicely. Um, the images looked absolutely fantastic. Um, I really liked the little pop that the chrome gave. You do still get the glitter in the background, but because it has milky white over it, you do get that milk bath effect to the glitter. So the chrome still allows you to have like a nice bright pop of something shiny over the top really really love how this came out and then after since you applied the matte top coat you should be able to unless you have one of those finicky matte top coats where everything sticks to it you should be able to brush the excess off and then i always like to go back over it with like my finger um and just try to really buff it in there and guys i made the biggest mistake look how beautiful that moth looked right look how beautiful my leaves looked okay so I went to go grab my Born Pretty top coat, right? Okay, cool. I'm like, why is it so chunky? Oh, my lord, girl, you put the magic gel remover 
on your nail. So I lost a little bit of the chrome from one of my moths and one of my leaves up at the top there. Oh my gosh, it could have been way worse. I literally didn't even look at the bottle. I just grabbed the bottle and I was like, yep, that's the right one. So I wanted to show you how this bad boy glows because mm, mm, that is stunning, stunning. It got me wanting to do a Jurassic Park nail now. So that might be coming soon. And this is what the nail is looking like. I am just absolutely floored. I love it. I love the fall milk bath look. I absolutely love it. Please let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear your opinions. Is there anything like tips that you have for me when doing this type of thing with encapsulating that you know you could share with me or just let me know what you thought of the video, the two designs that I showed you. Um, I truly appreciate you guys for being here with me today. Thank you to all of the amazing brands that have helped me create this product. Well, this <laughs> nail. And, um, you know, just thank you so, so very much to everybody that's just been here with me. You guys absolutely mean the world to me. Thank you to The Nail Life for giving me the opportunity to host such amazing um, things. And, you know, as always, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And I hope that you'll join me for future videos. Thank you.